so i just installed my erp next instance here and the installation was successful and actually it is running like you can see here it's running no issues at all you can see that also it is running on port uh, 8005 and that can be seen somewhere else uh, where is the address here is the address if i click on this and open you can see this is what it is telling me not found and this the same if i try to do one two seven zero zero one colon eight thousand and five it's giving me the same uh, error now when you see this kind of a thing it means that your site does not have uh, the common uh, uh, the current sites uh, file so if I close this now and I go into I go into let me make this a little bit larger I go into sites and I list this directory there is one file that is missing here I want to show you that by opening a different tab here and show you uh, from a site that is working so let me do frap here and I go into something like Kejeka and i go into sites and here you can see that there is the current site.txt file this current site.txt file contains the name of your site that is this one here now in our case here we have a site here yes but we do not have the current site.txt file so why don't we just create it manually so right now if i do a bench start here from our app you'll see that this is going to it's, it's not going to work it's bouncing off let me just create let me just go ahead and create this file so stop the server and then i can do sudo uh, touch and then i touch this file and i provide my root my password for frappe now when i check there is the current site.txt file but remember this site does not this uh, uh file does not yet have the name of my of my site so i can go ahead and copy this the name of my site and then i can sudo nano and current site and then i can just paste it here so just that and then i save it exit and then now i can go ahead and bench start again and when i come back to my browser here and reload this one now works so when you find such an error just check whether you have the current size.txt. If you don't have, create it manually and you'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.